Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 4 p.m. Central Time on Friday, July 5th, coming on now with the latest on Tropical Storm Barrel, including the issuance of new watches uh, for the middle and lower portions of the Texas coast and northeastern Mexico for the risk of uh, life-threatening storm surge and hurricane force winds developing later this weekend and into early next week. But we'll start off with what's going on now with Barrel, uh, centered just along the northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Still a tropical storm, maximum sustained winds of around 65 miles per hour. You can see barrel continues to move steadily off to the west northwest at 15 miles per hour. So we still have tropical storm warnings in effect for much of the northern and western coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Still seeing tropical storm conditions. Very heavy rainfall ongoing there as well with isolated rainfall totals as much as 10 inches here. But let's move on now to what's changed here for the, uh, the United States and the western Gulf Coast. We have a storm surge watch that has been issued from the mouth of the Rio Grande for the Texas coast up to Sargent. And this means there's the possibility possibility of life-threatening inundation from storm surge. In this case, within the next two to three days, uh, we could see storm surge inundation values as high as three to five feet above ground level from Baffin Bay to Sargent. That also includes places like Matagorda Bay and Corpus Christi Bay. South of Baffin Bay down to the mouth of the Rio Grande, we could see inundation values as high as two to four feet above ground level. So within this storm surge watch area, uh, if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone, this is a time to prepare. Get ready in case you are asked to evacuate by your local officials. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, preparedness information here in just a minute. We've also issued a hurricane watch for the northeastern coast of Mexico from north of Barra El Mezquital up to the Rio Grande and from the mouth of the Rio Grande all the way up to Sargent, the same area along the Texas coast is both under a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch. So this means there's a possibility of hurricane force winds within about 48 to 72 hours for all of this watch area along the lower and middle portions of the Texas coast. You can see that that watch does include places like uh, just to the east of Brownsville, Corpus Christi, all the way up through Matagorda Bay up to Sargent. So in this hurricane watch area, this is where you're gonna wanna start taking preparations you know, making sure you have your shutters, boarding up your windows for the possibility of those hurricane force winds affecting you within two to three days. Now, the track forecast for Barrel has not changed too much here in the short term, expecting a west-northwestward motion that's gonna take the center of Barrel offshore into the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, later this evening, and then moving west-northwestward to northwestward across the Gulf this weekend. And we are expecting, unfortunately, to see uh, environmental conditions conducive for barrel to re-strengthen and regain hurricane strength with the uh most uh, favorable conditions expected here in this last 12 to 24 hours prior to the storm making landfall along the Texas coast, which looks to be sometime during the daytime on Monday right now. But I do want to point out that with the track parallel to the coast here, it'll make a big difference in where the ultimate landfall location occurs, even if there's just a small shift in the track of the center. So we have the center right now moving uh, along the uh, lower and middle Texas coast. If the center moves a little farther to the right, we could see landfall up here along the middle Texas coast. A little farther to the left, out down closer near the mouth of the Rio Grande. And that's exactly why that hurricane watch and storm surge watch has been issued for such that broad area, because only a small change in the exact track of the center will make a big difference in where uh, Barrel Center ultimately makes landfall. So regardless of what you see in the track here, you have to prepare if you're in those storm surge and hurricane watch areas. Let's move on now to the timing. We expect to see tropical storm force winds arrive within that watch area sometime during the day on Sunday into Sunday evening. So you've got the rest all day tomorrow and part of the day on Sunday at least to prepare, uh, make your preparations for the storm and evacuate if you've been given any evacuation orders by your local officials. Now let's move on to the rainfall threat. As we know, uh, tropical storms and hurricanes bring heavy rainfall, often well inland. This is the rainfall forecast that goes all the way through uh, Wednesday next week. And we are expecting to see widespread rainfall totals of five to 10 inches across much of the Texas Gulf Coast and Eastern Texas beginning late Sunday through the middle of next week. We could see isolated rainfall amounts as high as 15 inches somewhere in this area. It'll take some time for us to be able to refine where we think the heaviest rainfall will occur depending on how the track of barrel shifts, but there is a broad risk of very heavy rainfall across the Gulf, Texas Gulf Coast, East Texas, and then accordingly and, and consistently with that, there's a broad risk of flash flooding. This is a level two out of four uh, in this yellow area, including places like Houston, Galveston, Bryan, Austin, San Antonio, Victoria, Corpus Christi, down to Brownsville, Laredo. Everywhere in here is at the risk of seeing some flash flooding develop as we go from Sunday into Monday and Tuesday next week. 
Next, I want to touch on the rip current threat. So even though Beryl is going to head toward the Texas coast, there's going to be an increasing threat of uh, dangerous surf and ocean conditions across the entire Gulf of Mexico. And a reminder that distant hurricanes, even though the weather might otherwise be great looking to go to the beach in places like the Mississippi, Alabama, Gulf Coast, Florida Panhandle, the Florida West Coast, you could have dangerous surf and rip current conditions. So pay attention to those flags that are flying. Pay attention to any advice you're given by lifeguards or other local officials about staying out of the water. Here's the current rip current risk. We have a moderate risk of rip currents already today, and this is just Friday along the middle Texas coast, the Florida Panhandle into the Alabama coast. Expect to see more rip current warnings and a moderate or high risk of rip currents developing as we go through the weekend. Um, so just a reminder, in terms of preparedness, when a storm threatens, this is the time now, if you're in the hurricane or storm surge watch area, to protect your home, put up your shutters, cover your windows, be ready to secure your doors, loose items. Determine if you're gonna be, have to go to a shelter if you're asked to evacuate. Know what your sheltering options are. Keep in mind your pets, your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, other folks who might need help evacuating or otherwise preparing for the storm. Get your go bag ready, uh, collect your, your supplies, your food, your water, your medicine, anything you're gonna need to sustain yourself for several days. And again, follow any evacuation orders that you might be given. So let's just wrap up with the key messages here. There's an increasing risk of damaging hurricane force winds, life-threatening storm surge inundation from northeastern Mexico up through the lower and middle Texas coast where we've now issued hurricane and storm surge watches. Uh, additional watches may be required tonight or early Saturday, perhaps even farther up the Texas coast. Uh, flash and urban flooding are possible across portions of the Texas Gulf Coast and eastern Texas from Sunday through the middle of next week. And again, a reminder of the danger of those rip currents that will be developing through the weekend across the entire Gulf of Mexico. So uh, please stay tuned for more information as the forecast changes. We're issuing new forecasts every six hours. You can get that information about the watches and warnings, the forecasts, the key messages here at hurricanes.gov. Find your local National Weather Service office for more information down to your local area at weather.gov. And again, please he heed any advice that you're given by your local officials as we prepare for a barrel to affect the coast of Texas as a hurricane early next week. You can come back here for more updates. We'll be out with you throughout the weekend. I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.